and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. If you are not new here, you know that I've been hyping up this huge February thrift haul for like a little while now. Here we are. I'm finally delivering it to you guys. There's been so much stuff accumulating in my room and I'm so happy to be sitting down here finally with it all piled around me to share with you guys because there's some good stuff in here, let me tell you that much. I'm going to keep this intro short, but we got to get real for one quick second, guys. I've been looking at my analytics, something that, you know, YouTube provides for you, which is just so darn nice of them. And being the little nerd that I am, I've realized that a lot of you, I'm not gonna call, I'm not gonna call it any numbers, but a lot of you are not subscribed, but you're coming back, you're watching these thrifting videos, so it would mean the world to me if you guys would go and subscribe. If you feel like it, I'm not gonna force you, but you know, we're here, we're chilling, I'm sharing this stuff with you, so. My Instagram is also gonna be linked down below because I have been wearing some of these like pieces already and I've been tagging thrifted this sorry this is like another thing this didn't need to be like a 20 minute intro for those of you that know you know thrifted this is my other Instagram account where I specifically repost pictures of all of y'all wearing thrifted items so if you want to follow that it's a really fun community I honestly can't believe how many of you guys have already followed it it's incredible so let's keep it going but without further ado let's get into it I divided some things I've got some piles around me like one two three four five of like all kind of inspired Instagram trends or stores that I think these items kind of relate to. So we have some Brandy Melville inspired stuff, some like just me inspired stuff, a bunch of logo stuff, denim, and then some IMG inspired stuff. So what am I going to start with? I'm going to do the Brandy Melville inspired stuff first because it's not really that Brandy Melville inspired. I don't, I haven't been in Brandy in such a long time, so I don't even really know what they're selling, but these are kind of things that reminded me of that whole theme. The first thing that I have here is this Levi's denim. Oh yeah, one more thing guys. A lot of this stuff is gonna be up on my Depop as you guys are watching this, which is just Sarah Dunk. It's gonna be linked down there as well so you guys can go check it out because I am thrifting mostly now to resell. I am thrifting for myself as well, but I just don't need like 100 new things every month, so. Moving on. So first off, we have this Levi's red tab, little denim button up short sleeve shirt and this one's going to be on my Depop. I think it's a perfect item for spring. I love wearing stuff like that like open or off the shoulder. Then we have this really cute pink chenille sweater. This definitely is small. I haven't really tried this on yet. It's in a size small. I don't know if it's going to fit me so I might not be able to try this on for you guys but it's a really soft material and I just thought this was really cute and cropped and it's going to be a color for spring. Pink is going to be big, guys. I don't know if you guys hate pink. I'm sorry, but I love pink, so I'm, I'm going to keep wearing it. Then we have this really fun colored turtleneck, which I am keeping for myself. I'm sorry. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me wear this in a story where I asked you guys if you liked avocado toast. And I really appreciate you guys all responding to my polls because I take that stuff very seriously. In all seriousness, I just, I had an item like this on my thrift wish list for 2018, which if you guys don't know what I'm talking about cute the cards but I'm so glad I found this it's by a really cool brand too it's some Italian brand if you guys watched my thrifting tips vlog I think it was then you saw this yellow sweater and I actually had a couple of you guys mention me about this saying if I was gonna sell it then you'd take it but unfortunately this is one that I'm gonna be keeping for a little while I might crop it or I might just like roll it up because it's kind of the material where you can do that and I definitely want to wear this a bit in spring and then it'll probably be on my Depop so and then this one I just kind of threw in there because I didn't really know where else to throw it in. And I feel like it's kind of brandy. It's striped. Okay, quick rewind. I didn't realize it was like this accordion material. So when I washed it, I probably should have hand washed it because it came out so much smaller than it actually is. So we'll have to see how this one works out when I put it on. But yeah, kind of an odd material. I might have to iron it or something. And the last brandy inspired item was like kind of the item that kickstarted this whole theme because this knit is pretty much exactly like a knit that brandy sells except this one is by the brand st john's bay what a canadian brand but it feels super soft i really like the cut of it i haven't tried this one on yet either so we shall see how it fits but i like how there's like a little v-neck and the collar i thought this tucked into like some really light wash jeans with white sneakers Okay, I don't know if I'm selling this one yet, guys. It might be one of those things where I sell it a little later. The last actually brandy inspired item slash kind of a logo shirt, so we're gonna segue into the logo stuff after this, is this really cute top. And 
there's some Asian scripture on here and I don't want to say the wrong thing so I'm just not going to say anything at all but when I worked at Brandy, oh the brand, it's by XS Shadow Large. When I worked at Brandy there was a shirt kind of similar to this and yeah I just really like the colors on this, the fit of it looks really cool so I'll probably be keeping that one for myself too. Am I selling anything in this haul? Probably not. Okay, segueing into all the logo mania hype bay type of stuff that we got going on here. This is a huge basket so fasten your seatbelts folks. There's a lot of this and pretty much 90% of it is going to be in my Depop. First off we have this Tommy Maroon polo. Yeah, three quarter length sleeve polo. It's got the little logo right over here and I really like this color and I love the three quarter length sleeve Tommy polos because I find with my shirts most of the times, ironically not today, but generally I kind of roll them up to be three quarter lengths anyways so when it's just already like that it makes life so much easier. I have this really cute Reebok, Reebok? <laughs> Reebok logo t-shirt. I just think it's really simple. You could crop it, you could do whatever you want with it. And then this one I'm probably going to be keeping for myself just because Wilson is a tennis brand and this looks really vintage and just super cool. This is also kind of like a brandy inspired item I guess you could say but I wanted to put it in with the logo stuff because it technically is a Wilson top and I used to play tennis so gives me a reason to keep it. We have another one of those Tommy v-neck polo except this one does not have any buttons on it so I kind of like this style a little bit better. I like how it's black. Just envision this with like some denim shorts in the spring, summer. It's gonna look cute. Then we have this Adidas red t-shirt which I also thought would be really cute cropped so I might do that for you guys. Another Tommy piece we have here is this zip up red sweater cardigan type of thing. It's in the size medium but definitely like a smaller size medium. It's not going to be like oversized or anything like that but I thought for the summer again this would look really cute even with nothing underneath of it and just like unzipped a little. A little bit scandalous, a little bit not and some denim shorts. I only wear denim shorts in the summer guys and I'm so over winter so I'm very excited for my denim shorts to be able to be worn again. Then I found this really cool Nike zip up and it's in a size medium. I think it's men's because it's pretty large but then again I don't really know. It's got the Nike swoosh right here. I love white sweaters for the spring and the summer. I just think they're so clean and fresh except for I pretty much stain all mine. And then it has this on the sleeve. So I don't know what this is. I don't know. Maybe I'm just missing out but let me guys let me know if you guys know what that means and it is a double zip as well. So I, don't, I never really understand the purpose of those but then we have this really nice oatmeal colored Tommy v-neck sweater. This one is in a size extra small so I believe it's men's because it is pretty big but I really like the color of this. Again it's going to be really great for spring when you have a tan on and another Reebok item because Reebok is going to be the next brand. I just I feel it coming. I got some really cute Reeboks for spring. I'm ready for snow to be on because I really 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 want to wear them but that's besides the point. We have this Reebok red black and white zip up thing. It is a men's size it's a men's size large, so definitely a little bit oversized, but I think it looks really cute like that just for the spring when you need to throw something on and you want to look a little bit athletic, athleisure chic. Then we have this really, really cute gray Tommy t-shirt. I really like the knit of this. It's really thick and I was going to crop it, but I don't think I will. It's a size large, so it does have that more like not super skin tight, I can't breathe feel to it, but just a basic essential for the spring. Another Nike hoodie that I am in love with and I don't want to sell but I really have like no need for another hoodie in my life at the moment and this is this really pretty like almost an eggshell blue color. It's in a size small. It's got the swoosh embroidered over here. It's kind of hard to see but I like how it's subtle and I really like the fit of these old Nike hoodies because they fit just perfectly. They're not like too cropped where you're going to feel uncomfortable but if you're wearing some high waisted jeans or shorts they're going to hit like just at the right length. Another and I think my final Reebok item is this super sick navy blue half quarter, three quarter zip um, sweater and it's got these pockets here in the front. I just think all the detailing and the embroidery, it's got a little thing on the back there too, is so sick. It's in a size 2 which that's kind of confusing because I don't think this is a 2 women's and they don't really do sizes like that in men's clothing. Do they? I don't know. But either way, I'd say this is probably like an oversized medium on me, even a large. I just, I, I'm obsessed with this. Like it's even got the detail on the zipper. I think it's so sick. And we have this Crooks and Castles 
race car-esque looking logo shirt. I really like this. I don't love Crooks and Castles, but just all the detail on the side, on the front, on the back, I thought was really sick, and I'm still very on that whole race car-esque looking thing. Then we have this crew neck, which I absolutely love, but I have no need for it in my wardrobe right now. Sadly, it is the Marshall University. 1837, took me way too long to read, but you guys get it. This is like the perfect, perfect crew neck. I'm looking at it over there in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, Sarah, don't keep that because you don't need it. But I'm a, I'm a sucker for this like light heather gray, especially in the spring, so. Another really cool item that I found is just this basic New York Yankees oversized t-shirt. It is an A size medium, so definitely a bit more oversized. It's got the number 27 on the back. I don't know anything about the Yankees, pretty much, so I don't know whose number that might have been in the past, but I really like the fit of this t-shirt. I actually wore it in a video where I was like talking. And then I also wore this in a video where I was doing some chatting, and I thought this was really cool. I actually saw one on Zara after I purchased this, very, very similar to this style with like the collar and the zip up and yeah, pretty much looked like an exact dupe, but I got this at the thrift store. I love the shade of purple. I think it's so fun. It's in an extra large. Another crew neck, which I have actually been wearing, but I'm going to sell. And I got makeup and like my dog spilled his popsicle all over it. So I'm not going to show you too much of it, but it was in an Instagram post and in my last video where I was chatting a lot. So that's a really great fitting crew neck as well. The sleeves are a bit shorter, but as I said, I like to scrunch up my sleeves anyway, so it worked. One of the last items that I have is this really cute pale yellow. This must be vintage Tommy because the tag looks very old. It's the Tommy jeans tag and it's got the tiny little pocket here. This is that shit that you guys see on Tumblr and stuff like that. So insta-worthy and I just am obsessed with a pale yellow. So this one is a little bit too small on me though because it is a size, well, it's a size medium, but yeah, I guess that's when you can tell things are old because the sizing was all whack but it's a medium it fits kind of like a small extra small and then second to last i have this everlast hoodie it's got a couple stains on it so let me know how you guys feel about that i'm gonna keep it for myself probably for a little while because the stains are like on the back shoulder and on the back part of the hood and they're like tiny little dots so i don't really care if there's ever any like little defects on things in depop i'll mention it in the description of the item so just be sure to check that out and then the key part of this is that it has the little boxing glove on the zipper, which I thought was so sick. This was expensive, it was like 11 bucks, but I really like the fit of it again. I like the croppedness of it and the material, how it's nice and thin. Stripe on the sleeve, oversized zip up sweater. And in my mind, I was like, oh damn, this would be perfect for St. Patty's Day. It's in a size large, so I was gonna sell it to you guys, but then I realized my birthday is the day before St. Patty's Day. And I like never do anything on St. Patty's Day, which is weird because you think it would be like a celebration time, but I went to a pretty boring university here in the city where nothing really went down for St. Patty's Day. And I feel like I always had like exams or midterms or whatever. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep on it, see if anybody invites me to any St. Patty's Day parties, and if not. You guys can let me know down below too or DM me if there's a specific item that you really want that I don't need. It'll give me that push to like give it, pass it on, give it a better life. We're going to end things with the IMG stuff so I'm going to jump quickly to the random Sarah inspired this might be cool in the near future type of item. So I don't really know why I picked this up. I'm not a blouse type of gal or like a tight fitting blouse type of gal but these ones have been kind of trendy over the last couple of fall winter seasons you guys will see it better on but it's the one that kind of ties here in the front so I figured this would just be a good top to have it's by Le Chateau in a size medium so I'm gonna keep that just in case I feel like I need to get fancy I thought this one was really cool it's a Patrick Robinson for Target top and it's a little cap sleeve blouse and instead of buttons it's got this like hook and eye is that what this is called hook and eye detailing and I thought for the summer this just was like jean shorts or mom jeans would be such a cool look or even like a leather skirt or something like that just to like give you guys some variety give you guys some options and yeah the material feels really nice and i'm really excited to finally be able to wear that sometime soon there goes my beauty blender again time for a little trend forecasting with sarah dunk over here i have a feeling that like mini cardigans and like 
yeah, just like mini cardigans and button up tops are gonna be a thing again starting this spring and summer. So I picked up this kind of nautical looking one and I know you guys might be thinking like, Sarah, that's not so cute, but I have some ideas in mind so I am gonna be keeping this one. It's in a size small by Morris's and I just have a feeling. Like not traditionally how they used to be worn like all the way buttoned up because I was never about that look, but even just like the one button done up and then the rest open or the middle one. You guys have seen it on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. If you guys saw my Valentine's Day, no, it was my outfits under $10 video, which I will link up in the cards as well, because if you haven't seen it, it was 100% thrifted outfits and every outfit was under $10, so. I think I did, I think I did a pretty good job with that one, but if you have, if you guys haven't seen it, here's a little sneak preview. I found this really cool top, originally by the brand Mange. Isn't that like a Revolve brand? No. Ooh, this is a nice brand, actually. I think they have a store at Yorkdale. Now I start to realize these things. I actually never looked at the brand when I got this shirt, but I really love the lace-up detailing in the top, the scrunchy sleeve, so on trend with things that we're seeing right now, and I'm definitely, definitely keeping that one. Along with the whole cardigan, mini cardigan button-up thing, I have this Ralph Lauren cream cable knit cardigan in a size large. So traditionally this would have been like that ideal tighter card cardigan thing where you just like leave one of the buttons done up, but it is a little bit big on me, so I'm probably gonna be selling this one. And you got yourself one of those nice like bedazzled diamond faux diamond things up here at the top for the first button. I remember when this style was in trend. I remember. I had a lot of those dazzly button type of looking cardigan things. This is another Sarah thinks this might be cool but who knows type of item. It is this really bright, like super bright. I feel like it's very muted on camera but bright bright bluish turquoise turquoise green <laughs> turquoisey green in a size large and I really want to figure out a way to crop this because I feel like this would be super sick in the spring. It is like that thicker chenille material though, so I'll probably have to wear it like early spring. This is an item that I thought I'd throw in here to remind you guys to look out for at the thrift stores. This is just a simple kind of off-white, or yeah, muted white turtleneck that I got the other day for like around four bucks, originally by Land's End, and I think it's such a good idea to pick up like basics at the thrift store. I mentioned this in my thrifting tips video, but again, I didn't have a white one and I almost paid like 30 bucks for one, so so glad I found this because there was no stains, no sketchy armpit staining or any like stitches being loose or anything like that. So just a little reminder, I've been layering this a ton under crew necks, under t-shirts, because it's still really cold here. And another thing that I think will be really cool, we've seen styles like this kind of pop in on like Fashion Nova and things on Revolve and stuff like that. And that is just this like snap up button polo type of top. And I thought this was a really good basic to have in my wardrobe. It's by Rhino Rossi. I don't know if I'm saying that right, probably saying it wrong, but it, it's in a size medium and I just need some more like good basic pieces that I can throw on when I'm going out the door and just look kind of cute and put together. So instead of wearing like a plain, plain black t-shirt, that has a little bit of something extra to it, which I really like. And then this top is actually in the thumbnail of my most recent thrifting video, which again, you guys should go watch after this haul and it'll be linked up in the cards. I give you guys some of my favorite tips on how to make thrifted clothes look new and expensive and more like, you know, the whole theme of what we're talking about today, more like trendy and current. So I found this really pretty, size small, rosy pink. It's spandex and polyester, but it gives that whole like silky, satiny vibe and feels really nice and I think this is a really cute item. And this last item for the Sarah category is this super sick Gap Real Leather Jacket. And if you guys go into the Gap like I do, because I actually kind of really like the Gap, I don't shop there a ton, but I think their classic styles are just like they get it, they figured it out, they've been around for so long, and if you ever need anything like basic or jeans and stuff, they're a good place to go. But if you guys have been in their store recently, they're actually selling a jacket like this right now for like around four or $500. Keep in mind that is real leather, so I think that's a pretty good deal. The one they're selling right now is a little bit more cropped, but I found this one in a size large, and oh my God, I think my mom, my mom used to work at The Gap, so she found somewhere on here that it was from the Fall 2000 collection, and <laughs> I'm so excited to wear this because I've never owned a real leather jacket and just the fact that this is such a cool current style, I'm 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 obsessed. And I love how it's a little bit big because I can layer hoodies and stuff underneath of it. Alright, guys, we've almost been talking for half an hour. So we're getting on to the last pile here, which is my lovely IMGA inspired haul. 
my friend Rachel and I were talking and do you guys think that IMG is like the new Brandy Melville type of store? Not in the sense that like they're similar in any way, but when I was, you know, a teenager, oh my god, I'm not a teenager anymore. When I was a teenager, Brandy was like the poppin' new store that was all over Instagram and just like really inspired a lot of the trends at the time. And now I feel like it's really IMG. -a. Like they've inspired so many other fast fashion stores to do similar designs. Like I know Fashion Nova is ripping them off right now. Um, maybe someone else set the bar and they're just copying them, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. I just thought that was kind of cool because I didn't really think of it in that way, but I think they've, I think they've done it. They've influenced the world. So good job, Gia. Anyways, the first top that I have here is this really cool button-up style top. It's a fun blouse because it's a little bit more sheer. I want to wear this in like a really cool edgy type of way. With my blouses, I don't like ever wear them with a blazer and dress pants. That's not my style, but I think this with like some cargo pants could look really, really cool. Again, if you guys haven't seen that $10 outfit video, then you would not have seen this next top that I'm about to show you as soon as I fix the sleeves. But this is originally from Sushi. Suzy. This is originally from Suzy Sheer and reminded me of a lot of the tops that are on IMG right now. These were also in that video paired with that last top and these are some bum, B-U-M, khaki colored cargo pants. And the only thing that's really different than the IMG ones is that these do not have like a scrunchy bottom whereas the IMG style ones do. So I mean it's not really a problem. If you're wearing boots you can kind of like tuck them into your sock and then them up. It's a little bit tricky like make sure you're doing it tastefully but I think this style is really cool as well with just like some sneakers and stuff in the spring. And then these pants I'm so excited to start rocking in the spring. I'm a little bit scared right now because it's like slush city outside but these are some awesome white looking cargo-esque pants because you have the zipper here, the zipper here, the pockets, the belt loops. They're in a size 6 by the Greg, Greg Norman. I don't know who you are Greg. I'm sorry but you make some nice white pants and I was so happy when I found these for like six bucks and there weren't any stains on them because whoever had these white pants before like you did a great job at being a clean person because I feel like I'm gonna ruin those in like no time unfortunately. Last clothing item that I have to share with you guys are these Adidas cargo pants as well. They're in a size six so they are a little bit or no they're in a size medium so they are a little bit oversized but I really like that look because they have the big pockets on the side. They also have the three stripes going down the side as well. You guys can't really see, but they're embroidered on in the navy stitching, and there's lots and lots of pockets. There's a tie up here in the insides of it, so you guys can just like make it nice and tight and slouchy, and I think these are super flattering. Again, no, no like cinched in bottom, but I think this is a really cool style, so these ones are gonna be up on my Depop, sadly, just because I don't need any more pants, but I think they are gonna be fire for spring. That is it guys for this huge February thrift haul. There's going to be another one in March and probably another one before that because I like to do like a mini one in between just so my room doesn't get super cluttered but I appreciate you guys sticking around for the whole video. If you made it here I respect you and everything I mentioned the Gpop, the Instagrams, all that good stuff is going to be linked down below so be sure to check those out and until next time guys have a great one. I'll see you next week. Bye.